for another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This is episode number four of the series. Um, and I thought I would start off with a pretty nice view. Our uh, heating plant is about 87% of the way done, which is awesome to see. We'll probably uh, be a little bit more operational. Going in uh, to everything. And we're slowly making everything operational. It's a good time. It's a good time. I just wanted to make sure this was on the right side because the it uh, it doesn't look like it is. So, anyways, uh, where did we leave off? We did leave off building the quarry, which we found out that it actually cannot work unless it has power. I believe we uh, found that out together. Uh, so this just does not work if there's no power associated with it. So. A little bit uh, frustrating, but but that's all right. So, um, what I'm thinking I might actually do as well is I might add a fuel line here, just so that this truck doesn't have to go all the way over there when it wants to refuel, and eventually when it does need to refuel, uh, it can just kind of stay nearby and just fuel up on its way by, and then also allows truck or buses if they need gas, they can also just fill up. So, let's put down that stop. Refueling, gas, and there you go. And that also means that these um, cisterns need to notify that, hey, this is a drop for you. Please do that. Oh, we can get rid of all of this. This is not needed. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So now two trucks should be out. Yep. Awesome. And this truck is bringing in a bunch of workers. See, look at how much less traffic we have because we're doing where we drop them off and then they get picked up. Realistically, we could move them over here to get dropped. Oh, wait, we have some over here. Did we move them from last episode? I can't remember. They've been on the platform for 12 hours. Did they just not wish to go to work? Who knows? Oh, yeah, he did just drop them off. I must have done that. I must have set it over here. Resources on construction site. I'm confused. Why are they not... Steel framing. They need workers, dude. Construction has stopped. No workers. But there's workers. What? Oh, is it because I'm... Yeah. Okay, I think it's because I told them where I want them to go and it was there. And there's nothing. Yeah, there's... There's no way because they don't have the steel or the mechanical components. We're still waiting for our board storage to empty so that we can set up uh, a storage yard, which is fine. Um, just trying to see where our bottlenecks are at. Because they're waiting on mechanical components. They're waiting on mechanical components. It honestly might be... Um, yeah, I think it is, uh, due to the closed halls. There's just not enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to go closed hall, covered hall. And I'm going to do two of the big boys, um, just until we get the warehouse put in. So I'm going to get two of them. That should help. Gotta do, we'd have to watch your money a little bit, but I'm hoping uh, that once this, well, sorry, not that, once the uh, power lines become uh, operational uh, and we have power running, which we don't have any right now, but they are building everything. So once that's all up and running, then we can start exporting and we can really cut down significantly on our imports because gravel is just so significant. 
for imports because I think last episode we determined that um, that our gravel is just absurd for imports. Uh, we can see here uh, vehicle imports and then import of resources from the Soviet bloc. Steel, see 26, which 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 adds up, right? 8,000, but then also gravel 2,000. So that just it adds up. If we can get rid of that. That'd be great. At least one of our expenses out the door. Um, we can feel a little bit better because that's 2,000. 2,000 uh, rubles, I think. Rubles? Is it rubles? I don't think it's rubles. But I don't know what it's called. So we will just keep building up. Uh, looks like... Looks like they're trying to fill that up. So we'll fast forward a little bit here. We don't need to go at one times. I am excited to see this pop up. But uh, I am going to be back once we have another uh, milestone accomplishment finished. Because right now it's just a lot of building going on and a little bit of waiting. So once, uh, once something more uh, milestone happens and uh, we're a little bit more up and operational, I will be right back with everyone. Something that seems to be confusing to me, uh, and I'm not sure why it's confusing, so... Right, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get some gravel roads built. Um, like I said, I'll come back in a milestone. I'm trying to get these gravel roads put together, but it, it doesn't seem like they want to... Like, I, look how much I got sitting. But they just don't seem to want to work. Um, due to the fact... Maybe it's due to the fact that they just can't reach it but even at that I feel like we could have more like they can just kind of go past each other um, but, but maybe not so um, we, we have a little bit of piecework construction going on but these just these don't need to work right now I just don't need them moving so even though they're blocked in it's not a huge issue because they'll eventually um, before we run out of everything they will get the work done um it doesn't take them too long so i'm not super worried about it but again we just have kind of things sitting and i'm, I'm a little bit confused i was wondering what uh what was out here but the, it's just a snowplow very good <laughs> he's uh he's often doing what he needs to do but as you can see we we have a fair bit of just resources really just sitting around uh, granted they're they're saving themselves they're saving us money by not going and using fuel but there's just so much that needs to be done that we we could utilize every piece of machinery okay so see they got the gravel road done but this is a rough thing because it's not just a massive long piece the excavator that was just there that was doing all the work that traveled out just went back so it's not yeah see it just went back so it's not going to travel out as it's like oh i did my job time to go back now a new piece of machinery it doesn't it doesn't set it correctly in my eyes uh but that's okay but uh looks like things are getting done uh, so we started this episode with this thing at 87 percent um, and it's it, it's only went up by one percent and we've been we've been going for oh probably probably eight nine ten minutes now so it's not great but uh, it's also not horrible so these people when they unload these workers there's a lot here I was gonna say they should move off to go do something because this has Oh, but they are waiting. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, they're not waiting on anything now. So this guy just dropped off everything. There's a crane on site. Hopefully they can finish everything. Oh, and perfect. Our water treatment plant is actually up and operational. Like, But look at all these people. Like, They're coming in. But they're just laying around. Is this even set? Yeah, it, it's, it's set as a requirement to do. But they're waiting on boards, they're waiting on bricks, they're waiting, you know, they're waiting. Something picking them up. Okay, these are loading boards and I guess they're gonna send it off there, but... It just seems like kind of a waste of labor. 
Oh, and when everyone was gone, yes, I said I had snow. It was a snowplow doing a snowplow thing's very good. Uh, I did get a uh, technical office, so snowplows, uh, snowplows are around because it is winter. It is our first winter in uh, January 1961. It did start in December. If we were paying attention close to the start of the video, it was uh, Christmas time or not? Yeah, it was December. So I guess Christmas time. It was. Uh, it was good stuff. I guess I'm yelling into the mic, so I'm just going to talk a bit quieter. Um, hopefully I'm not peaking the episode too much. So uh, this is all going well. Again, it's just kind of uh, more or less just a waiting game now to get everything more operational. The key thing that we need set is this heating plant. Once this heating plant, and I guess, well, all right, there's a few things. So A, heating. We need heat. B, we need the water treatment plant. And C, we need the sewage discharge. We need all of that set before we can move anyone in. And also we need to have the city done. So there's still a fair bit of tasks that are left that do need to be accomplished and completed. Uh, but we are making good progress. And finally, my dumpers are able to, uh, to get out. They're no longer trapped. And I think, yeah, we'll just, we'll leave this. I mean, we can do this road as well due to the fact that they can just come up and through this road, but I think we'll just leave it open. We'll let them finish all of this and then we'll queue up this one. Uh, so just uh, again, a little bit of a waiting game as not much is going on. We are uh, negative 17 degrees Celsius, very cold winter, but uh, they seem to be doing a-okay. I would like to get the electricity up and running because with the electricity, we can start offsetting our ex our import and export need, at least for the gravel, but uh, that'll take time. So again, I am going to uh, leave it here. I'm going to uh, wait, um, wait a little bit longer. I'll come back when we have uh, some more to report on what is going on with uh, with the Republic, but as it just stands right now, it's just a, it is a big waiting game because we can't build the city yet. We do need to wait for all this extra infrastructure to go up. Um, but the next part that I want to start looking at is how can we get the oil up and running because we, uh, we do need to utilize this construction yard and this open storage. Um, I am hoping that these boards, we, we lose some more boards. We have 43 tons left and we still have another board storage that we uh, reopened. Uh, so then we can place our storage here. So I'll be back again when there's uh, a little bit more going on, but uh, we'll be right back. Some good news. I have, just due to the fact that we had so much storing up here at our uh, construction office, I've decided to finally begin construction on the town and that also means the sewage so now everything should be getting up and operational everything's moving nothing's really sitting the only things you have sitting are these two buses and some covered halls uh, but they should get underway once we finalize construction here we finalize this construction we finalize these last three or four that are around uh, because again, everything in walking distance, the workers are going to prioritize first. So what we should do to prioritize getting this all done is we should medium prioritize or high prioritize just so that it gets done and we're not having to uh, have workers sitting doing nothing. At least uh, they'll have resources kind of waiting for them so they can work. Um, so yeah, we, we finally opened up construction on the town. It's our biggest milestone yet. Our most exciting milestone. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be good. I think I'm going to open up this to high priority as well. Uh, just so that they start working on it. Uh, they get a complete. We don't have to keep waiting around. So anything that leads into my industrial i'm going to high prioritize it just so it gets done i don't have to keep waiting uh this switch does need to get done quickly as well as this uh that can be low or medium that can be medium and then we have this is high 
this is as high so yeah that's everything kind of leading because what we want is we do want this industry up and operational so that we can start uh, offsetting because again i think this these imports is yeah it's just due to our gravel it just massive i mean it's only like 700 bucks but a thousand bucks here or there adds up right everything just keeps adding up hopefully they can finish this construction somewhat quickly there's not even anything working here can we, can we bring something to to work on this gravel road please because you're blocking people it's it's never good <laughs> we, we want to unblock like we have bulldozers just chilling here just sitting around doing nothing when they could be working on the gravel road. Oh, here we go. Our uh, heating plant is going to be up and operational here soon. It's uh, some more exciting news. I believe they should be able to finish this. I mean, their work day. Yeah, their work day is not even fully over. Yeah, they're going to be able to finish that. There we go. Now, the only thing that is definitely needed with this heating plant for this uh, is coal. We, we do need to have coal. Uh, one thing that we I think we established there uh there's some coal on this uh mountain here I think we established it in like episode one where the coal deposits were uh so we can utilize these coal deposits this is a little too close uh to the citizens but I think there was more coal on all of these mountains if I remember correctly or maybe was it only this mountain? <laughs> what did you do? T two? So if we place it... If we place a coal mine here... Which is fine, because I think what we'll do... Is we'll keep this wrapped around close. And we won't expand out this way. But in the meantime, we do need a way to store coal. So that we can constantly feed this. We do not want this to run out. It needs 8.4 tons of coal. Uh, is its max production... Uh, per day I believe and it can store 80 tons so I don't think I'm going to set an aggregate outside of it just to save us a little bit of money uh, early on but eventually we might have to and I think that's when our coal plant is up I'll set up a train potentially going through the mountain to the base of the coal uh, to pick everything up and then bring it back and there can be a coal route uh, that sets things up so now let's see, how are you fine folks? Oh, you're, you wanna go work in, in there, right. Um, well, the, the only issue is there's no need for you to work in there. So I'm trying to, I'm just wanting to minimalize these all to zero currently, uh, as there's just, there's no reason to have them have workers because we don't have a need really um because there's no electricity hooked up but this is good once they leave that'll be perfect um without drinking water uh reduce to zero buildings without power so somebody's gonna have to remind me in the comments which is fine that i need to actually reinstate workers into these uh facilities but um that that's okay i think we'll remember what bus stop are you looking towards okay you guys need to pick up workers from this bus stop because I believe that's the only one I have workers going to and this piles of workers should just sit they should not move they should not go anywhere right oh I was like sorry I had a mental lapse I was like did he just drop all those workers off literally in here and they did not no that did happen what you don't have to go here. Go there. Wait, what's this road depot? Who are you? What depot do you work? Oh, you work for the construction office. So maybe he did just pick them up to drop them off here and they did a bit of work. Or maybe they're working on this pipe. Or they're working on this. Somebody's working on some type of pipe. How is our city or a town coming along? Any any actual work being done? 
It does not look like. It looks like they're just kind of sitting and waiting, idling, which is it's okay. I mean, we have all this stuff on high priority, so they're obviously going to prioritize it first and then worry about everything else later. So it looks like this place just needs steel. So that's pretty good. That's, uh, that's not bad. Now, I wonder why these... Like, they're sitting, right? But there's places that have requested steel. Right? Like, all of these have requested steel, but they're just kind of... I don't, ooh, good, good, perfect. All right, let's delete this. Let's take away the road. And now we can do what we wanted to do, which was get the medium storage, which has the rails. And I th think, yeah, I think this way is fine. And then we can set up a warehouse, but this warehouse does need a road connection. Um, so what we might have to do... Okay, what we're going to do, I think, is I'm going to... Of course, there's not a bulldozer or anything doing anything. Why are you... You cannot be sent to that construction. All right. Um, I think we're having a backlog on excavators. Um, so I th think I might purchase uh, in here. I'll actually purchase one more excavator. And when it gets here, I'm just going to tell it to work on the road just to get the roads done. Because that pipe does not need to be finished. All right, um, I'm going to quickly check the audio just to make sure because my levels today seem to be a little bit off. So I want to check the audio and I'll be back with everyone very shortly. Something ironically funny to me is just, I mean, look at all of these people just chugging away. They're like, no machinery for you. Oh, maybe that was the issue. They had no machinery. It's just like people need to work on this. So they're waiting to just stuff a bunch of people onto that job site but that is so funny to me that it's just that many uh workers were stationed on one singular area but i thought that was kind of funny kind of uh interesting <laughs> oh man but there's also some more good news we do have the basis of the foundation is going in um which is which is great really really great uh, just a quick save water drink. We do have the ground going in for this the town, the fine establishment. Um, so now we just have to kind of wait. Um, I say I'm a lot, don't I? Oh, there's a traffic jam somewhere. Oh, poor traffic jam. Where are thou? I do say I'm a lot. I am trying to work on that. I don't want to say I'm as much. So I will be actively trying to work on that. But bear with me. And I am pretty happy about episode one. I have noticed that a, quite a few people are actually tuning in and uh, taking a listen. So it's uh, it's very um, rewarding experience and uh, want me to keep going for a lot longer. So thank you. I appreciate all the people that uh, are supporting. So with that being said, we are working on all the piping to come into the city or not the city the town and also to come into this quarry again i'm just going to keep restating it because this is a slow slow playthrough uh that we need to read just restate everything so many times but i did just realize our power <laughs> we have part of the power uh up operational we, we don't have all of it operational we are still missing the uh, crucial part which is this transformer or switch and uh, this voltage wire, but it looks like we have all the people that we might need. It might take another wave of workers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, yeah, so that's a problem. That's a huge problem. 
Oh boy, do... Oh no. We have none more available. Okay, so... If I do this, can they move across? No. Okay, if I do this... Oh no. Oh no. How, how this is not good. I totally forgot. Okay. All right. Yeah, we... <laughs> oh boy, that's a lot of workers. That's 50 workers just vibing on a bus that's out of fuel. Oh, and another bus is out of fuel. Oh no. Please hurry. Please hurry quickly. <laughs> I totally forgot. That was... Wow, we are, yeah, I, mistakes were made, folks. Okay. Oh, boy. That, uh, that's rough. We really do need to get these moved off the main road. I don't know why I initially placed them on the main road. That's just not a smart location. But we have another bus with 36 workers. We have about 100 workers just vibing. Not doing anything. Okay, is this empty? This is the bricks. So let's replace this because I do... I do want the, and I have to pause. I know I don't want to pause, but we have to because I made a, I made a pretty big mistake. Um, I, I do want the warehouse uh, here, and then the road. Um. Really? What is... I mean... Do I like that? It's not horrible. And then once we get rid of this, I can move it behind. Mm, I'm not a fan. No. Let's see if we can do... See if we can do something else. I don't I don't like how it's like sitting. Uh, do I want it to run the other direction? We could do it. But I just know you can't put a road across these tracks. So until we get the prefab panels moved, which we can easily do because we just move to the storage, which is going to be kind of off limits. Which is fine. Because then we can run a road through here. We're not cutting anything off. So okay, now we can go back to full speed. Uh, we can hope and pray. Sorry, I had to check and count myself for a minute there. Okay, so we are delivering. Okay, and now they're technically, quote unquote, they have fuel because they can go get fuel. But there's going to be a bit. Um, just, just a little bit of a roadblock. <laughs> uh, while everything kind of fills itself back up. Yeah, and these big dumpers, they, they take gas. Wow, we had a lot of stuff out of gas. I didn't realize how bad I made it. I made it quite bad. I did indeed. Wow. Um, okay, that's our first mistake. First mistake after the first winter. It could have been or it could have been worse. It, it, it definitely. It, it could have been so much worse. Uh, yeah. The, do they have a way to... No. Okay. So what we're going to have to do... Um... I believe that. That should... Yeah, that's going to allow them to work on it now. Perfect. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh boy, indeed, hey? 
and then not a single one is using that other fuel state. They're just like, nah, this is the one. This is the bee's knees. This is where we want to go today. Like this, this is the bee's knees. We have to go to this one. There's, there's no other gas station, no other refuel point that is like remotely going to speed up our product productivity here. It has to be this location because if it's any other location, just not nah, screw you. We want this one, right? This, this, this is, this is the one. This is central. This is, this is, you know, it's not even industrial park field. This, it's, this is the one, you know, this is the one it, nowhere else. All right, good. We clarified that boy. Uh, I'm going to add these to the queue, but I was going to have these on low priority. I'd rather them finish the town first and we can start actually uh, doing some things with our citizens rather than um, build up more storage. But something that we do need is we do need a brick storage because we got rid of ours, right? So um, storage open. Um, I think I'll just place this one actually just temporarily here and then limit and we'll fill it up with bricks. Something I wanted to ask everybody that watched my video is, do you guys enjoy workers and resources uh, solely or is there other games that you do enjoy watching? Because I am open to exploring other games. I was thinking maybe we'd start a City Skylines 2 playthrough. Uh, so we have workers and resources and City Skylines 2 alternating themselves so we can do a little bit of both. Or is it just very much that um, this is the one that you guys like to see? Um, so let me know in the comments uh, if if that's something else that would interest you uh, or if this is the one that's uh, the most of interest. So, uh, oops, I need to tell them to unload and then I can copy there. Now they'll go get some bricks and they'll drop off bricks as well. Uh, it's without power. This just needs a little bit of workers and then they're good. How much longer can these workers be with you? Oh, quite a long time. Okay, perfect. So I believe, yeah, productivity stopped just because I completely screwed over the fuel situation. Um, but now it's alleviated. It, it's resolved. It only took about 24 days for them to resolve their issues, but it, it's resolved. Thank you for resolving my issues game. Much appreciated. And, uh, oh, this small container is, is actually filling up with waste, even though nothing is working. So I wonder if it's because it dispatched a vehicle quickly enough that they're not actually going to go do work. Is that, oh, maybe it's due to it, it being medium priority. Uh, cause this is, this, this is actually shipping. I'm not sure why it's set to... Let's set it to high. Let's just, let's get this done. Let's get this place finalized, right? We have so many things that we just want finalized, but they're not finalizing. So just wanted to, want, want, wanted all these projects to wrap up, please. We have so many. Oh, good. We're starting to finish up this one, which is great. So as this gravel road becomes, then we can um, do the next one and then we can actually finish this off without all these trucks being screwed over, right? That's uh, that's that's crucial, crucial, crucial. Uh, all right. So, yeah, people are just waiting. Another drop off just got put. So they're just waiting. I think this bus yeah this bus is going to do a couple laps and just drop people off which is actually perfect oh perfect this one will be finished okay and one more swing around shall we do no you need fuel okay i'll let that slide so this is the only thing that we're waiting on uh, for this heating slash construction slash storage location. Um, but everything else seems to be... Well, and we're also waiting for our well. And our pump. So, a little bit of few things. I mean, slow progress, but uh, I'm actually really excited. The, uh, the town is actually flying up. 
which is awesome to see. It's, it's quite speedy. Oh wow, this bus platform is almost uh, is almost ready, which is nice. So the nice thing is we can set this once this bus platform is set, we can just tell them to ship in workers the foreign laborers right here and they will just distribute themselves amongst where they need to go because everything's in walking distance i don't actually need to have a bus that takes them anywhere they'll just walk they'll just be like oh this this place needs workers i'll go walk there oh this place needs work. i'll go walk there even the citizens when you get a couple houses if they are like i don't have anything to do if they're near a bus stop that has construction they'll be like well i'll just go work i'll go put myself to work and go lay bricks or whatever it may be so it's very, very handy uh, as uh, we're running out of gravel and they're not going to go to the other gravel pit. That's another reason why I want to get this uh, up and operational. Just get rid of all these gravel storages that are not really needed by me. Oh, here we go. Now, are these? These are connected. Okay. Per perfect. Very good. All right. So... Electricity's up, heat, sewage. It does say we're missing coal, which is fine. I can set up a, a truck to start pulling in. I actually, I'm gonna do that now. Um, we do have, I'm gonna just take this dumper. I know it's not a spare dumper, but I don't, we have a dumper there sitting and we have a we have three dumpers going. I don't need five dumpers uh, transporting gravel once we have this set up because they, they'll just go there. It's going to be a lot quicker of a travel, right? I just hope and pray that they complete things quickly. Oh, we can turn the power on now. Everything's ready for the power to be turned on. We are looking good. We're looking looking like we're thriving, right? All right. Well, I will, uh, again, I'm going to make a quick jump cut for everyone here just to speed up a little bit of what's going on, and I'll be back. Happy days. Happy times. Happy citizens. Uh, the bus platform is officially up. It is without power, which is fine i just believe the lights don't turn on but you can still deliver people here uh, it's it still works it's still functional it's just people you know i want my lights anyways uh so this has all oh, right because i separated them because i wanted them going to different uh different custom houses so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a new stop this will be the new stop so this bus uh, this bus platform is the location that we need to them to go to now and not here. So I'm going to delete this stop. I'm going to tell them to unload and force them off. Uh, so now they'll bring them here and I need to do the same here. So bring them here. Yes. Bus platform. Just unload, force them off, delete that stop. Save. So now, all of these workers will come over here and they will decide whether they want to wait for a bus or work in the city that desperately needs people working. And now that we have that set up, yeah, I can see even they're taking, uh, he's taking them to the cinema, they're taking them to the school. So instead of us wasting time with sending, uh, sending them, they will just kind of distribute themselves amongst where they need to go, um, which is great, which is awesome. Uh, I wish this was underway, but I guess I apparently forgot it. Uh, so that was uh, that was great. Um, yeah, and then uh, one when we start the Sid. Well, yeah, the city's underway. What am I talking about? Distraction. As we can see, there we go. The first drop of the citizens has been released. They're off. They're running. I hope they prioritize, like, places that actually have stuff on site. Um, you, you know, because if, if they don't... 
So maybe I can prioritize. Yeah, I can prioritize where they go to work. Or maybe not. I don't know. That's not something I'm aware of. Because I guess that's something that I'm not. I, I should have thought about is like. Yes, they can distribute themselves, but are they going to go to the smartest places possible? Uh, we we noticed that no, they they did not. Some people went to a great location. Some people did not. Uh, they they did not. <laughs> they did not help the the man. Right, which is which is not good. What are we? Uh, it's still gravel. Yeah. You know? Well, we had to get some steel. We had to get some asphalt. We had to get some concrete. I mean, those, these are the big killers. Uh, and fuel is killer, but this gravel just, it constantly racks up. Um, so it, it would be really nice if we could start. I think the first process, uh, the first thing after gravel, obviously, because that's the, what we're getting rid of first. But the first thing after gravel that I really want to get rid of is our need for, I'm going to say concrete. Um, as we go here to construction, we can make a cement plant. It requires coal and gravel, uh, but then we can just make it, um, yeah, so then we can make it into concrete, which needs more gravel, more cement, more water and more power. But this at least allows us to make the cement and I don't need 81 tons. I can go with just a smaller amount because it only takes 30 tons a day. So this should produce 170, 175 tons of concrete a day. That's a lot of freaking concrete, right? <laughs> um, we don't need much more and then eventually we can do asphalt, but we need, we need bitamine, which we don't have. Uh, we can make bricks, which actually would be a very easy thing to make. Uh, just because it takes coal, but everything revolves around coal and we just don't have a great location to grab coal. Like we just, it's not great, right? We have, we do have in here, which gives us about, it's a 60, which is, which is really not great. Up here is not much better. Um, it would be nice to have those geo maps so we can just kind of see exactly where the coal is located and and that's why we have the technical school so we might have to go a little bit into debt um it, it's not going to kill us it's not going to cripple us it's not going to be much uh but hopefully we can get back onto our feet uh, and ex exporting exporting is going to be huge we need to export um that is that is crucial but it is nice that we have the the platform up and running we have most things underground finished uh, and kind of doing their thing. I do find the uh, sewage is interesting. They have like these sewage outlets for like uh, airflow. So they can breathe. Uh, should we high prioritize this, this stuff so it's just completed and finished? Yeah, let's high prioritize. Just due to the fact that I want to get this stuff done. These these don't have to be high. They can still be medium. But we're underway. We're uh, getting the school done. Getting the cinema done. Uh, it's just a matter of time before everything's done. I know we're not using this second uh, construction yard. But it's just because I... We're draining money quick. Very quickly. Very quickly. Right? So... Uh, I don't want to purchase more vehicles, and then we're even lower, and, and we're just, we're trying to survive. Um, not, not something that we want. We don't want to lose all of our money here. But I would, as I say it, I, I would, hmm. What do we have? We have one, two, three, four mixers. And these don't have any mixers, do they? Oh, here's that dumper I was talking about. So go here, go here. Um, so at the customs house, which I want you to load coal. And then here I want you to unload coal. And I want you to wait till you're unloaded. Uh, and then you can start. So now he's just going to solely, he'll take 
Why do you have gravel? Anyways, so he'll bounce here, he'll bounce back and forth, and his whole job is just to load coal. That is it. Um, so then by the time we have citizens moved in, this will be full of 80 tons of coal. And we won't have to really worry about it. And this has three spots for loading. So he's going to go off, he's going to go do his thing. Here I can actually reopen this. I'm going to do 20 workers, I think will be tons. Uh, this can only have five, so I'll just keep it at five, because they can just fill that up, right? They can just fill up that water tower. Um, and then here can get redone to five, and here as well can go back up. I'll do I'll do ten, just because we have machinery here. We don't really fully need a lot. And then that'll allow them, once we get workers... Uh, that'll allow us to start exporting, but it's just the 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 offset cost to do in, uh, foreign workers there. It just does not make any sense. It's just it doesn't work. It's it's not it's not economically viable. So we will uh, continue to kind of stay workerless <laughs> uh, and hope and pray that we don't go fully bankrupt because we used about half of our surplus of dollars uh, currently. So apologies for that. I. Uh, had to quickly bounce. Bounce, jump around. I just had to quickly do something, so my apologies. I had to kind of cut the video a little funky. Um, um, again, yeah, just keep on saying it. So, yeah, we're slowly starting to get everything operational. It looks like we are delivering um, some workers to the platforms over here uh, to get this water pump operational. How many workers? You only got... Eight workers with you, huh? Zero foreign workers. What do we got over here? 35. He only took seven. So we must be really pulling that pool down. Which is... It's alright. You know, it's, it's not great, but it's alright. Doing our thing. Can this get... No, hey, it can't. Okay, that's fine. I was just thinking if it could get an excavator so it can just excavate into the processing. But it looks as though um, it needs to just get dumped. So I, I honestly, I wonder. And I'm just going to do it. I'm, I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to do, you know, 10%. No workers. We cannot store export quarried stone. No, building is about drinking water, but that's a lie. We have drinking water. We just don't have it being pumped. Which this needs to finish. And that needs to finish. Um, but these all have power. Yeah, these are all good. Oh, we need to assign you a new the new brick. Uh, you guys needed that and brick. Uh, and then you're getting your workers from the platform. Perfect. Okay. Copy. Paste. And then I think... Paste, 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 paste. Oh, yes. Because they didn't have any bricks. So that's why they weren't working. I was wondering what was kind of going on. And like what was what was causing this delay and issue. Um, so actually now too, because the power is on... Uh, I can tell them that I want you to store them with uh, fuel as well. So now they'll actually fill this up and they'll be an exclusive fuel station so they don't have to go to these and get tripped up. Awesome. Cool. We are making progress in the light of the Republic. I'm wondering if I want to because it's not really necessary because we do have the buses transporting everyone over. Uh, we only really need to man this, which only requires 15 workers over here. So I wonder, is there a 15 man bus? There's an eight, there's a seven. I don't need a lot, right? So I'm wondering if maybe two micro buses that's 16 and we needed 15. So if we do two micro buses, 
that are just picking up from the border or not from the border but from the city and heading over into the industrial if that would be plenty and i think it would so i'm gonna get two micro buses and they're just gonna kind of hang out they're not really gonna do anything currently which is fine which is okay um there will be a, a need for a lot of restructuring um once everything is kind of organized and fleshed out because we will no longer need them to be actually heading over there what we'll need them to do instead is pick up from here well realistically we don't even need them picking up from here i mean they're not needed to do that because right now we're picking them up from there to, to drop off gravel here but when this is doing itself the they'll just pick it up themselves so what we can do is have them pick up from here but drop off at the border and just sell and just export to make us some cash which is most likely what the plan is going to be uh to finalize that so we're still waiting on that and we're still waiting on the pump so that's fine um that's 43 workers that's 31 and you guys are getting your workers from which platform the wrong platform good good so get your workers from there um and then because i copied it i'm gonna have to copy it over awesome okay the republic is moving along it's doing its thing uh what were you working on you're working on the plumbing okay good cool do your thing man do your thing do it good What's nice too is we can also set up a tra a, a, a tran a tran we can also sort of train uh, which could come this way and just swoop in and they could pick up the aggregate uh, Which is the gravel and then it could swoop its way back out and then we could kind of figure Or even with this gravel gone the storage We could have a train that kind of comes this way and we could set up its rail yard right here Which then that'll allow us um, To have it so the train can either come into the yard and do its yard things or it can continue out and just pick up gravel and then also we can set it so it can come into the town what what size bus is this oh dollars yeah i don't need that uh where we can set it up so it actually comes into town here and it can pick up passengers because with there it's going to be in walking distance still so we can pick up passengers here and then ship them out to wherever we need them to go and it's going to increase our productivity and our speed by by a lot which is what we need Right, where, I hate when it's, oh, I hate when it does that and it, yeah. I hate when it storms. We're not storms, but, um, rains. Yes, that is the word I was looking for. When it rains, it pours. And then everything just becomes so dang slow. So if I do that, that works because they can still get out and do their thing. I would like to move them, but well, I could actually move them. I can just tell them all to go here and then I could relocate them to here and then I'm not running into issues. See, those buses got distribute, but everybody like left. Everyone's like, no, we're going to go do something. See ya. So this should finish. There is only one person. Oh, how painful. One person decided, you know what? Yeah, I'll go work there. Where did everyone else go? One person there, one person there. How many people are here? Three. Literally one. And two. How lazy. They picked the place that has no resources. Am I wasting money? Oh, I'm wasting money. I'm wasting so much money. Is this one person going to be able to finish it? Oh, maybe. No, no, not at all. Where are you going? Yeah, you see, they wanted to pick up people, but they all ran away. Um, <laughs> so they couldn't pick anybody up. <laughs> oh, this building has no power, even though we're importing, because we just don't have enough. That's actually so funny. They, they brought in workers, and they're like, oh, perfect, we're going to go get these workers, and then... They brought them in, right? And they're just like, no, no, we're gonna go. We're gonna go somewhere else. One of us is gonna go work over here. 
Are you gonna get some progress done? Mm, no, no, we don't feel like it. <laughs> it's okay. We don't, <laughs> don't really feel like it today. Yeah, these need a lot of bricks, hey? Wow. Maybe a good thing to do is do a brick. Because it seems that they need a lot of bricks. What are we importing on the Soviet block currently? Uh, a lot of fuel, a lot of concrete, a lot of steel, but our bricks are not bad. Honestly, bricks are cheap. Even gravel. I mean, if we can offset the... Oh. I don't know why that went away. Wow, look. Look at 200,000 on bricks all time. Or not bricks, sorry. Steel. That is absurd. That is absurd. We need our own production. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There go more people. Probably going off to do nothing. Can somebody go in there? Because they won't do anything since there's no boards on site. They'll just kind of vibe. Why did it? Why did not one single person decide that they're gonna go to the cinema? The the one place that's like almost done. What are we? Okay, so we're we have a shortage of boards, bricks. but not really anything else. So it looks like we need more open halls. Wow, we are like... out. Yeah, we're topping out with our open halls. Like, look, they're all waiting. They're all waiting at the border. Wow. Yeah, because all of, it looks like all of the concrete mixers are kind of done. No, they're, they're still out and about. Okay. All right. Well, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to make a cut and we're going to kind of see, I should probably just stop telling you we're going to make a cut and just kind of do it because it's just like, boom, like you don't even know, but we're going to do that thing. And I'll be back when there's another major con major update. But just remember, this is 1% the way done. It, it's almost there. This is 2%. So actually, maybe we'll hold on. We'll see. Oh, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? You're going to go into that place? Oh, one person. One person. Who's going to single-handedly by himself complete that massive construction? Why are you? Why are you two in there? And there's nothing for you to do. There's nothing for you to do. How many work hours you got left in you? Not enough. Not enough. Because, like, I'm just wasting cranes right now. Right? It's just a waste of cranes. Because they're not... Oh, my God. That's so annoying and frustrating. That they're just kind of choosing whatever the hell they wish. Which would be fine, granted, if we had enough for everyone like if there was enough resources currently delivered at every single job site that would be fine that would be dandy but we don't have that that option that there's not everything delivered not everything is there so they just kind of i don't know man they just kind of sit around they just pick their nose i don't know they just use my money you'd, you'd think that that wouldn't happen look at all these boards Oh, good. We're, we have a surplus of boards again, or more bricks. We're running out of boards. Yeah, we're definitely going to go into a deficit. What does it cost? Wood, wood cut and post. Sawmill. What is a, what is open space storage? Wood cutting post. Max daily production per worker makes... 6.3 tons of wood. And then it can go to a sawmill. The sawmill makes boards. This might be a beneficial thing to do. Is get boards manufactured by me and then also bricks because it only... That is massive. Oh, 
It's, wow, what do you, what do you cost? Uh, 30 tons of steel. Ugh. Wow, that, yeah, that hurt. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Buildings without power. Oh, I think it's just because our power is not even set. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we got heat. We got water. We got sewage. We got power. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's up and operational. Somebody finished it. Probably a one-man wrecking ball. The one man that was determined. He's like, dang it, I'm going to see this thing through. It's getting completed by my hand. All right. That sounds good. Awesome. Okay. To finish off the episode, because uh, we have hit that mark, we have hit that time. I have made a quick adjustment. I have moved uh, every single dumper, except for two, to a different location. And I filled up all of these, uh, the remainder of them with open halls so now we have three six we have nine nine open halls because what's going on right now is we're losing the we can't keep up with the demand of bricks so we're just losing them so what i've done is i've opened this up so what i'm actually going to do so that we can maintain a steady flow is so they need asphalt so it, it, yeah, so these dumpers for their asphalt, I'm going to tell you to go over there. For your concrete, you're going to have to go over there. Uh, steel is fine, because it's all stuff that we have. Uh, this stuff is fine, but we're going to send them off over there. So we're going to do that to there, 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 there. So now, because what's happening is we're over, we have too much going on. There's There's too much coming in. Uh, cause like these, they're looking for gravel. Ooh. Oh, these are my, this is my dumper here. Asphalt. He needs 1% of asphalt to unload at this electrical station. He barely needs any asphalt yet. He's going to wait. So what I'd rather them do is I'd rather them take this long trek to this border where it's, it's less congested, less going on and do it there. Because this is just ridiculous, right? There's too much waiting. There's too much time being spent. It's it's just not good. So what I'd rather have happen is workers and everything get grabbed. And honestly, because concrete's still moving. Um, oh, I already sent them over there. Perfect. Okay, I already thought ahead. Awesome. So, yeah. Concrete, asphalt, and all that stuff will be grabbed over at Volca. Which will open up Mozina to to not have this massive traffic jam going on, which should then open up for this not to be so congested and us just to completely lose everything. Um, but also too, when I left off, the one man he finished it, and we also finished the school, and we're we're starting a good amount going on for the town. Uh, it's finally getting underway. Uh, we are still paying. Uh, in my opinion, a little bit too much uh, for workers just kind of doing nothing. But right now, it looks like we have starting to get majority of the stuff on site. So we won't be paying foreign workers to do nothing for much longer. Uh, they'll all be doing something. So there we go. We have one concrete truck off and this will get better. This is just this is hectic chaoticness. Uh, but we can actually check to see. So this is this distribution. He's looking for boards. Uh, I also told the workers because things were getting done. I told them to come here, but because it's so busy and packed, uh, I'm also going to tell them that get your workers from Volca. I don't want you. I don't want you blocking this all up because this is getting ridiculous. So yeah, you're going to go to Volca next trip. You're going to go. You're the normal person. No, you're supposed to go to Volca. Okay, you're going to go Volca next. Distribution office, distribution office, construction office. You're fine to come here because it's going to be low enough. Distribution office. Um, you're the big bus that's supposed to unload distribution. So I'm trying to limit what comes through here and try to send them way down here. Because also, too, congestion is way less. 
so that is kind of what's going to wrap up the episode today um i hope that everybody has enjoyed this episode four of workers and resources soviet republic um i uh i'm really appreciative of everyone that's has been watching uh that has put likes towards the video it really does help me it keeps me motivated it keeps me thinking that hey maybe one day that this could be a really nice big channel good community we do have a discord server uh for the community so if you do wish to be a part of that discord leave a comment in the description below or not in the description leave a comment below uh and uh, i will send you the link to the discord so you can be a part of the community and, and get to chatting with everyone hopefully next episode we get the town completed we get the gravel quarry up and operational and we can start offsetting some of these costs because we're getting pretty dangerously low to reach in that zero dollar mark and that's something that um is uh, is going to be detrimental so and uh we're we look like to be almost done the well so we can start getting water then we'll have power then we just have to focus on sewage and then we should be fully up and operational to start uh really getting people in and starting our republic and kind of balancing that juggling act because what we got to see today and in the last couple episodes is it's a juggling act just even for trucks but once you get citizens you get workers and resources you have to manage all of that it becomes a whole nother game uh so please join me on tuesday at 11 a.m when we release episode five, which should have citizens and we begin the next adventure. Uh, I think that's the release schedule. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Remember, like, subscribe, leave a comment for the, even the sake of engagement. And I will see everybody on the next one.